So, welcome back to another episode in subsistence land. As you can see, winter is here. It is now snowing. The bear that caused us so much trouble is still here. And um, uh, we're going to have to get rid of him because he's going to hang around and hang around and hang around. Uh, I could tow him away uh, by, by running off into the distance with him, but uh, yeah, we lost a lot of stuff uh, when we died. Uh, we lost a med kit, I believe, several bandages, some SVT ammo, the pistol, uh, several shotgun rounds. Yeah, it was not good. We also took a lot of damage. Now, how a dude that's only just put up a BCU and has a floor and a wall was able to get Molotov cocktails? Uh, that that's uh, yeah. No, I don't know. Um, that needs changing, because that's a, definitely a very unfair advantage. However, not to complain, uh, I've been around and repaired anything that was seriously damaged, including the plant bed, which um, we were so lucky we didn't lose that. But um, anyhow, you can see uh, it is very, very nearly ready. We need to give it some more fertilizer, and that should be ready today. So we will do that. You can put the hammer away now. Uh, I've been making up some planks, <coughs> and um, I think the next thing we're going to do is put some doors on. <laughs> kind of feels a little bit, uh, a little bit too open, with no doors on. So, yeah, first things first, uh, let's put some ash in. I made an extra canteen, we did lose a canteen uh, when we died, so I've made an extra one. Um, just to make life a little bit easier. So, uh, we'll get that all topped up. We can see we have got 85% light here, so that's not too bad. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, could be better perhaps, but there again, it isn't quite... Well, I suppose it is midday, so... Anyhow, not going to worry about that for now. So, uh, we've got those, we put that away. We're going to need some more arrows because I don't want to use up what uh, little um, let's go for six. What little ammunition we have left after having lost so much, uh, I don't want to use that to get rid of the bear. Um, yeah, we'll keep a, a, a refill on those, and then we're going to need what is it? Twelve and six, I think. While that's crafting, we will top up our water. Yeah, see that bear is just going to be on top of us every time we go anywhere. Where are you, dude? Yeah, so we need to get rid of him. get more than one arrow in him from up here. Ugh. Yeah, I knew he was going to be a nuisance. You heard the, um, you heard the wall break. So, he had to go. We got something decent off him. Right, just while we're out and about, let's quickly go and check the traps. Yeah, I'll have to rebate those. But at least we can step outside our door now without a bear attacking us. Quickly have a look around. There's a big moose up there. Okay, so let's get some food cooking first of all.
Uh, yeah, you can see we're really low on protein uh, from our run back from the other end of the uh, map. So, <clears throat> we need planks, cordage, nails. I'll make a replacement wall. Thank you very much, Mr. Bear. And we were going to get some water. And we might as well do those at the same time. I don't know why I went all the way to the water, because I can do it from here. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so at least we uh, can get our statistics back to half reasonable. And um, I think while we've got these, uh, we will build uh, a couple of doors. I also want to put another half ceiling outside and some steps down to the water, which seems a bit of a silly time to do it as it's not far off freezing over. Um, so I think maybe we'll just do the the, uh, the half ceiling, uh, just so we've got a, a landing pad, as it were, to, to jump on. And yeah, that way. And I think be a good idea to put this one the other way. I know I normally go out that way to get water, but this is our back door and if the front door is covered by something we want to be able to come in from the other side. Yeah, so hopefully we can just climb up there, jump into there, and if we want to we can get around anyway. So that's good. Leave that in there for now. We uh, we don't need it at the moment, and I don't want to carry three around in the middle of winter. That's no need for that. Okay, so we've used all the planks that we had. We've got very little wood left. The weather is uh, not very friendly. I think a priority today is going to be stocking up on wood, uh, which I apologise is being you know quite boring for you. But I don't... Oh, we need to bait the traps. I don't want to run too far from home in this weather. Uh, if we start taking cold damage, we need to be able to get back pretty quick. Uh, the kelp. Uh, also, our um, cotton should be ready today. That's a rabbit. Anyhow, there is one advantage of having died. Uh, we now are clean shaven. We have lost our beard. So, um, yeah, we we'll consider that to be an advantage. We will get our own back on that hunter uh, at some point. But there's not a lot of point until he's built up some resources. Uh, as you saw, it's just a whole load of risk for, for virtually no reward. The other good thing about running back, albeit in the dark, dangerously, uh, 
Ah, we hear shooting. Uh, is we did manage to find some nails and some loot crates. So, um, you know, always look on the bright side of life. I think it was three, maybe four shots just then. I wonder if what he was shooting actually killed him. I wonder whether it might be worth going and having a look. Still six degrees out, and the snow does not make you wet. So we're coping quite well in a t-shirt at the moment. But that's not a situation that's going to last. to have a quick look over over here yeah that's quite a Christmassy picture isn't it <laughs> and we're in a t-shirt in the end of November <laughs> crazy No, not going that here again. Had enough of bears for one day. Alright, there's a damaged wolf. Now, if that wolf attacked him, I would expect that wolf to be dead. He's a level three. So, where did he attack him? Just going to be cautious because the dude may have run away and survived. And I don't see him. So I'll have a look around here. This is where the wolf was. If we can find a dead body. See a dead body anywhere? I would have expected him to have come down to do some fishing, maybe. In which case, he's probably along this route. See the hunter around. Oh, there he is. There he is there. Okay, no point looking for a body anymore then. Yeah, 
Yeah, so what probably happened is he engaged the wolf, got back to his platform. The wolf broke off, but he'd already shot him. That's why the wolf was damaged. But the hunter still survived. No worries. At least we know. It was worth a shot. And we got a lot of berries out of his grounds. I don't know if he's growing them there. But yeah, we still need wood. But, uh, we also need loot. I just thought we'd have a, a quick look around. Uh, that one looks like a square. It's just a rock. an important lesson. Uh, bears do not break off the chase when you step on your foundations. Uh, they will, if they can walk up it, they will walk up it and they will kill you. So don't think you're safe just because you put a nice set of steps leading up to your base. Bears can use stairs. Ah, home sweet home. Okay, put some of this away. A second. I think we used our fuel brick. Yeah, I think we'd have time. Aha! Finally, they are ready. Let's just grab that meat out. I think we'll eat that one, we'll keep the steak. Unfortunately, although we've got some nice tomatoes here, most of them we're going to have to convert into seeds and replant. Which is a shame, because we do need the veg. Uh, we have one. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, we don't have any more cotton seeds. So um, I think for this run we are just going to have to, actually no, I'll leave those in there for now. We're going to have to plant a, a load of tomatoes. Ooh, blue light. That must be Bravo. I'll have to keep an eye open for them. Uh, okay, so we decided we were going to have to increase the priority of a refinery and we can make that now with 10 boards, 12 electronics, 12 scrap. So we just need the boards, which is going to be 30 of those. Uh, we'll have to make a load more boards at some point. We've got a lot of building to do, but not just yet. 
Alright, a quick look at the map. Yeah, so that's Alpha. And... Oh, that's interesting. We've got what I would have thought would be rogues down there. No, it's too far away to be Bravo. Uh, the fact that we saw somebody in the river... Was it over here? I think Bravo would more likely be around this area. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Can't see them at the moment. Yeah, they've relocated over to there now, so they are at the very head of the river. Don't see any others. Okay. Well, uh, we got a little bit done. We're just waiting for these planks, and then I'm going to make the refinery, and then we can start making iron shards. Uh, the other thing, obviously, now uh, we need rope. We need uh, cotton, or at least 10 cotton. And uh, 5 cloth. I'll come back to those. Let's make that first. remember the quantities of those. And there we have the uh, warm jumper sweater, whatever you want to call that. So we'll put the uh, t-shirt away somewhere safe. That gives us plus three warmth. Less protection, unfortunately. We get two protection with the t-shirt, only one percent with the sweater. Um, but in winter, you need it. So, you know, that's that's going to allow us to go out in uh, in the colder days. Uh, we have just clicked over to December, so I believe our lake is going to be freezing tomorrow, I think. It's the last half of December. So uh, today will be the last chance when the sun comes up to get some fish oil and kelp, for that matter. So uh, that's going to be quite critical. Uh, okay, ten. Lastly, we're just going to make the refinery, and then I'm going to call that a, an episode. Let's put this stuff away. Okay, I am going to go out uh, today and chop a shed load of wood and get a load of planks made. Uh, so I'm probably not going to make that into an episode a uh, little bit too boring for you guys. I will get some iron on so that we can try and make a lockpick. Um, but uh, I think that's about it. So let's pop this down. Uh, they attacked over that corner last time, so I think maybe we'll put it under the stairs. Uh, if it fits. Mm, yeah, just there. That's fine. So there we go. We've got to wait for the power mass to build up, and um, uh, yeah, I'm going to get some of that going. In fact, we will pre-load it. And of course, we're going to need to uh, upgrade that. Uh, so that's yeah, we're going to have to get get on with the upgrade and get an additional slot in fairly soon, I think. But for now, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.